All right, here we go. Old school versus new school. We're uh, stepping on the stand, sorry. We're gonna compare one random old school slot compared to one random new school slot just to see how they do. We're gonna put 200 bucks in the machine. We're gonna try to keep the bet amount about the same. So we have $3 on blazing sub-ins. This one's at New York, New York. Let's do this blazing sevens. Well, we started about 30 seconds in, so we're not doing any particular set. Smack them out. We're just gonna kind of play it, and see how they go, see how long they let us play for. I mean, uh, my goal is not to lose the $200. My goal is to see if I can potentially get up to a double up or even $100 and then move on. Or if it does run out of money, how long did it let us last? How, is, it, is it giving us the small hits back to keep letting us play? You know, stuff like that. Blazing Sevens is a low volatile machine, right? It's got a lot of small payouts. And then, of course, you've got the progressive you can potentially hit, which pays out fairly often. Which is, you know, the top award, the top jackpot on these machines. You know, because they pay out fairly often, that's why they're fairly low in volatility. Whereas if you go to a lot of the new cartoon slots, the top, the top payout, those grand jackpots, they're very rare. They don't pay out that often, but they're oftentimes significantly more than the top payouts on these old school slots. And so because they're significantly more, they gotta be uh, more volatile, right? They got to, uh, you know, I guess in a lack of better terms, they've gotta take in a lot more money before they can give it out, right? Now that doesn't mean that the machine's going okay, I've got a $20,000 grand jackpot and I gotta collect minimum 20,000 before I can pay it out. That's not the way it works. Um, you know, that, it's, you know, that, it's not the way it works. The machine doesn't work like that, but they set up the math in a sense that over 10 million spins, it's basically gonna work out that way. The machine's going to collect what it needs and more to make sure that it covers the amount of money it's gonna pay out in those grand jackpots. That's all, yeah, all done, I guess. Behind the scenes, people that make these things and program them, right? Now, the one thing that's potentially not fair for the new school slots compared to old school is that, you know, I'm on this dollar uh, blazing sub ends at three bucks a smack and return to player if I took a guess is I don't know anywhere between 92 to 94 maybe as high as 95 percent on something like this uh, where for me to go find a dollar new school at three bucks is rare you typically got to go to the penny range uh, which is going to be more depending on where you're playing at 87 88 um, oh, get it, yes, $300 hit. That's what we're talking about. We got it, that's why we love old school. That is why we love old school, right there. Because those $300 hits are way harder to hit on the new school, much harder to hit. Where I can hit that on the old school a little easier. That's 100X my bet, that's awesome. I'm not even sure what I was just saying trying to figure out to finish my thought before that and got all excited about this red sevens on this oh yeah so on the penny so anyways those oh my gosh two hundred dollar hand no way yeah that's why we keep it old school people glad i kept going so yeah the return of player so on pennies you know, like i said you know oh yeah some some of the grand jackpots it's just Oh, wrong button. They just don't hit near as often, right? But again, it's over 10 million spins. You're not gonna notice really that difference at all. Oh my goodness, we almost got it again. All right. Get it. Oh, or 
I'm not going to go below 500. That's what we're going to call it on this one. But let's get uh, let's get the progressive now. We've got the three red sevens. We got the mixed sevens. Let's get the progressive. The trifecta would be fun. I don't even know what new school slot we're gonna go play. We're just gonna go for a walk and pick one. But my guess is, if I put in 200 bucks in a new school slot, I'm not gonna walk away at 500 bucks. Uh, this is just one video, one example. We're gonna do we're gonna do several videos over time. Hopefully, as long as you guys enjoy the series of old versus new, I definitely want comments. I wanna know. And then if there's certain old versus new you want me to play, let me know. I'm not trying to make it where it's like old school top dollar versus new school top dollar. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to randomly pick some old school slot and go randomly pick some new school slot. Let's see how they do. Now, I'm not saying I don't mind doing an old school versus a new school version, um, and we can make videos of that, and that'll just be more or less, hey, old school top dollar versus new school top dollar, but not so much, you know, the, in this series I'm wanting to do of like old school versus new school to see what's, see over time, what should we be playing? I definitely feel we should be playing old school for sure. But maybe over time, we might find out that there's a few new school ones that we might want to add into our play, potentially. Let's just find out together. I'm going to go for a walk with you. I'm going to push my chair in. And we're going this way. Ooh, we're at New York, New York. All right, where should we go? Where should we go? What's out here? There's some people I'm showing, but I just hate holding it at the car. Oh, I see what I want to play. Let's do this one, not that one. Let's get this one. Which one's got the bigger major right here? Ooh, bigger mini. Major, minor, and minis, all bigger. All right. Set you, I'm going to set you guys down very gently. Hopefully, I didn't hurt anybody. Going to put our 200 bucks. I think we're going to put in our $200. Take our money, please. Here we go. Finally got it to take it. Well, one bill. I'm going to check the dollars just to see what is the minimum bet on this. It is 10 bucks, so we definitely can't do that. That's not going to work. Pennies. What can we bet on pennies? Uh, 264. What about two cents? I got to change it up here, darn it. Um, 176. That's that's more than three dollars. All right, I'm gonna do the pennies at 264. It's kind of the middle of the road bet of the pennies. It's right in the middle. Let's get the volume up on this thing. So we started at about the nine minute mark on here. Just to, if, if for some reason we can't uh, make any money on it, let's just see how long it lasts for $200. Now, I've played this game before. They can have some fun bonuses, but the line hits are terrible, right? We don't have a chance in heck to get a $300 line hit like we did on uh, Blazing Sevens. Or a $200 line hit for that matter. I'd be surprised that a $2.64 bet, even if it was a full screen of top symbol, I doubt would even add up to 300 bucks. Could be wrong, but I'd be surprised. $1.53 for Tacos going all the way to the fourth reels. So that's pretty bad. It wasn't even our bet. Uh, 
Come on, let's get this, please. It's just all about pay lines. Most old school games is all about the pay line, right? Where the most new school games is all about the bonus. There's a few that got geeks and pay lines. The majority of them, if you don't get the bonus, you basically just going to get scuffed out. Spicy and upsize to go together. Well, obviously, we prefer we have all three. Right now, it's not happening for anything. When you get the bonus in this game, it's a fun game. It, it, it's got potential, but if you don't get the bonus, you're just going to get wrecked like this. $185 to do it. Obviously a clear winner there. Old school crushed new school today. Absolutely crushed it. Wasn't even a chance. Wasn't even fair. Blazing Sub is just that good. Anyway, hope you guys are gonna enjoy this series. 
let me know. If you're not subscribed to my channel, appreciate if you do so, really would. And if there's an old school slot versus a new school slot, like I said, you want me to play, let me know in the comments, I'll find them. Well, I'll do my best to find them. Let's go ahead and bang.